This is Terrence Andre Banks with Information Age Financial Solutions coming to you with a fantastic article I read from Yahoo.com. Uh, it was about real estate and 40 cities that could be poised for a housing crisis. As always, titles catch my attention and with real estate being the hottest topic since sliced bread, everyone, you know, forgets the 2008 crash and they're saying all these other narratives that we won't face another one again. And you know, I've done a number of videos on my, on the channel in regards to real estate. This one brings it home, especially with so many people receiving, you know, with the moratoriums pen to end and and so many houses in forbearance and not being allowed to hit the market articles like this just bring some you know just a sober look at where we're really going to where things are moving to and where we're really at especially for 2021 and and essentially for 2022 when i believe that the latter part of this year early next year you start seeing some you know correction signs to say the least so 40 cities that could be poised for a housing crisis, as always, we'll put a link inside the description. Less than the 2008 crisis and crisis is our living memory and the effects of the recession of the era are still being felt. Glad they point that out. Although today's housing market is largely hot, experts are bracing for a wave of evictions treasured by pandemic related disruptions that they fear could be the catalyst for a different kind of housing crisis that could be rival even the dreariest days of the Great Recession, all with COVID-19 still not yet totally contained. Some American cities are much more vulnerable to a housing downturn than others, according to a new study from Go Banking Rates. The neighborhoods where house home prices are going through the roof, you can click on that link. Using the data from the sources that include the U.S. Census Bureau, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the 2019 American Community Survey and Realty Track, Going Bank Rates identified the 40 cities most at risk for experiencing a widespread housing crisis. The study examined factors such as mortgage delinquencies, foreclosures, and homeowners, homeowner and rental vacancy rates. All 40 are among the 200 largest cities in the country, but they aren't spread out equally across the nation. States such as Texas, for example, are disproportionately represented with seven cities on the list. California, on the other hand, doesn't have a single entry despite a population of nearly 40 million in some of the most expensive housing markets in America. This is the last update. So the first place they come up was Hartford, Connecticut. Now, I know Hart, Connecticut has a serious pension problem, but also another subject for another time. Total housing units, 57,267. Percentage of mortgage, 30 to 89 days delinquent, 2.7. Percentage of mortgage, 90 days delinquent, 1.2. Foreclosure rate, 1 in every 8,758 homes. Home over vacancy rate is 0 0.7. <laughs> Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right. Total housing units, 158,561. Sunday mortgage 30 to 89 days delinquent, 2.7%. Sunday mortgage 90 days delinquent. Uh, 1.1%. Foreclosure rate, one in every 5,438 homes. Homeowner vacancy rate, 1.5%. They got another link here, 25 cities where the middle class is thriving. Hampton, Virginia. Uh, you know, there's a lot of business being done in Virginia, especially in the Hampton area. And this is interesting to see. Total housing units 60,130. Percentage of mortgage 30, 89 days delinquent, 2.6%. Percentage of mortgage 98 plus days delinquent, 1.1%. Foreclosure rate one in every 5,598 homes. The story continues. All right. Let's see here. Kind of went too far right there. Next one is Clearwater, Florida. Total housing units 60,504. Percentage of mortgages 3089 delinquent, 2.2 percent of the 60,504. 1 percent, 90 days delinquent. Foreclosure rate one in every 6,321 home. Well, vacancy rates 3 percent. Corpus Christi, Texas. Total housing units 134,604. Percentage of mortgage 3089 delinquent, 4.3 percent. Percentage of mortgage days delinquent, 1. 1.1 percent foreclosure rate one in every 10,732 homes. Newark, New Jersey, total housing units 113,623. I'm reading this kind of quickly, but I encourage you to take a look at it at your own time on your leisure. Percentage of mortgages 38, 38, 30 to 89 days delinquent, 2.1 percent. Mortgage 90 days delinquent, 1.1 percent foreclosure rate one in every 4,226 homes. San Antonio, Texas, total housing units is 541,467. Percent of mortgage 30 80 to 89 days delinquent, 3.6%. Percent. 
percentage of mortgage, 90 days delinquent, 1%, foreclosure rate, 1 in every 8,142 homes, homeowner vacancy rate, 1.9%. Killing Texas, total housing units, Killeen, I'm sorry, Killeen, is it Killeen or I'm not pronounce it correctly? But total housing units, 64,280, percentage of mortgage, 30, 80, 90 days delinquent, 2.7%. 90 days to leave with 1%. Foreclosure rate, 1 in every 10,414 homes. Homeowner vacancy rate, 4.3%. Louisville, Kentucky. This is interesting. Total housing units, 282,781. 30, 89 days to leave with 2.4%. 90 days to leave with 0.9%. 1 in every 3,666 homes. Homeowner vacancy rate, 1.7%. Jacksonville, Florida. A lot of business on Jacksonville, Florida. Total housing units, 396,542. 30 to 89 days delinquent, 2.2%. 90 days delinquent, 0.9%. One in every 4,082 homes. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Total housing units, 108,880. Percent of mortgage, 30 to 89 days delinquent, 2.7%. Percent of mortgage, 90 days delinquent, 1.2%. Full closure rate, one in every 8,662. Miami, Florida. Now, even with Miami, Miami, people still want to go to Miami, but it's still it's on the top 40 cities. To total housing units, 221,040. 221,040 houses, 2.4%. 30, 89 days delinquent, 90 days delinquent, 1.1%. 1, 1, 1 in every 5,678 homes. Atlanta, Georgia. These are spots from the last foreclosure crisis. Total housing units 253,597. Percent of the mortgage are 30, 89 days delinquent, 2.8%. Percent of the mortgage 90 days delinquent, 0.9%. Percent. Foreclosure rate 1 in every 4,425 homes. Sep Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Iowa. Hmm. Total housing units 62,321. 30, 89 days delinquent, 2%. Percent, 90 days delinquent, 0.7%. Percent, 1 in every 2,704 homes. Topeka, Kansas. Interesting. Total housing units 60,013. Sending mortgages 30, 89 days delinquent, 1.8%. 90 days delinquent, 0.9%. Foreclosure rate 1 in every 2,833 homes. Memphis, Tennessee. Total housing units 30, 301,473. Sending mortgages 30, 80, 89 days delinquent, 3.7%. Sending mortgages 1.1%. 1, 1 in every 8,485 homes. And I'm going through this pretty quickly. Amelia Real, Texas. Total housing units 85,889. 30, 89 days delinquent, 3.5%. One in every 4 and 394 homes. Birmingham, Alabama, 113,421. 30, 89 days delinquent, 3.4%. 90 days delinquent, 1% foreclosure rate, 1 in 4,149 homes. Norfolk, Virginia. Wow. Total housing units, 98,476, 30, 89 days delinquent, 2.6%, one in every 4,997 homes. Springfield, Massachusetts. Now, this is places, some places, these got one up, prices went up dramatically. 30, 89 days delinquent, 3.2%, 90 days delinquent, 1.3%, foreclosure rate, one in every 7,336 homes. Tulsa, Oklahoma. 187,906, one in every 3,906, 3,916 homes. Orlando, Florida, total housing units, one in 38,456, 90 days delinquent, 3,890 is a 2.1%, percent of mortgage, 90 days delinquent, 1.1%, homeowner breakers rate, 6%. El Paso, Texas, total housing units, 250,077. Now, interesting is that some of these places that he mentioned, Texas especially, there's so many different, they got a housing channel um, flips. They constantly told Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, Texas for the places that um, they do the best flips at. They got these for the shows. And Texas is definitely one of them, Atlanta, Georgia, as I mentioned. Not too much in Florida, but these other places is interesting too that, you know, some areas I wouldn't even expect to have it. But I digress. 30 to 89 days legal, 47 percent 90 Days of length with 0.9%. Foreclosure rate, one in every 6,424 homes. Syracuse, New York. Now, this is, wow. Total housing units, 71,808. I guess I shouldn't be so surprised since I'm from New York originally, but Syracuse is just one that I wouldn't suspect. 
just because it's not in the city itself and I you know I didn't know how to affect but again my ignorance doesn't mean that things don't go on so get out of here 38 30 to 89 days delinquent percent of mortgages one in every 9575 homes Homeowner vacancy rate 5.2 percent. Miami Beach, Florida, total housing unit 65,746, 30 to 89 days, 30 to 89 days delinquent, 2.4 percent, one in every 6,175 homes. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, I already read this. Little Rock, Arkansas, total housing using 97,530. One in every 8,141 homes. Right. Brownsville, Texas, 59,943 of the housing units. 5.7%, 30 to 89 days delinquent of that number, 90 days delinquent or more, 1.3%, 1, 1 in every 20,075 homes. Lafayette, Louisiana, total housing units 59,341. Percentage of mortgages. Miami Beach, Link, 1.3%, 1 in every 5,467. Mobile, Alabama, total housing units 92,545, 1 in every 8,799 homes. New Orleans, Louisiana, 192,236, vacancy rate 1.9%. Augusta, Georgia, total housing units 87,800, 1 in every 2,879 homes. Baltimore, Maryland, Okay. Total housing unit 293,877. Homeowner vacancy rate 3.2%. One in every 2,163 homes. Columbus, Georgia. And Georgia has a lot of different sectors here. It's just like Florida has a lot of places that's, depending on the section you're in, facing this uh, housing particular issues. Total housing units 85,251. One in every 4,004 homes. Shiverport, Louisiana, total housing 91,088, 2.1%. One in every 3,156 homes. Fayetteville, North Carolina, wow. Total housing units 94,480. Foreclosure rate one in every 5,020 homes. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 104,145. Home rates rate. 2.4%, one in every 8,703 homes. Jack in Jackson, Mississippi, 75,146, one in every 4,465 4, homes. Macon, Georgia, total housing units 70,014, foreclosure rate one in every 6,260 homes. Laredo, Texas, total housing units 80,365, almost one in every 10,322 homes. Okay. I think I went through the whole list there very quickly. Um, skipped around some of the details that they have. Definitely encourage you to take a look at it. Especially if these areas reflect where you live at. There may be opportunity for you. But don't believe all the narrative that's just going to bounce back and everything's going to be fine. Really need to get yourself poised for the opportunity that's going to come. And also be prepared for you know people who are going to be suffering as well. Um, and... It's just such a different time. Housing is a, the American dream and how we exist. And it defines many people, especially the American aspect. So if this video has been any value to you, please subscribe, leave some comments, hit the like button until my next video. I'm out.